Hello, I'm Caitlin Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Last week I posted a vlog of our baby shower, so if you missed that, go check it out. But there was a lot of requests to do a haul of the gifts that we got, so I thought I'd do a quick video of all the items that I registered for that I think we're really going to need and um, gifts that we got and also some things that I haven't gotten yet that I plan on getting. If you're new here, this is my first baby. I'm a first time mom, so I obviously haven't been through this yet, but I've asked a lot of moms, I've compared registries, I've done some research, and these are the items that I have concluded that I want to try and go with. So. Hopefully you find some useful tips. There are really so many options and I don't feel like you can go wrong with a lot of the options out there. Um, it's just kind of finding the ones that work best for you, that sound like they're going to be the most convenient for you, that are in your price range. So, And also, not everything that I'm sharing with you is an absolute need. I know a lot of moms say, like, you really don't need a lot for a newborn. All these, a lot of these things are just like nice to have and extras. So don't stress out if you can't get all the things on your registry before your baby comes. And also when I'm talking about items, like you don't need to let me know that I might not need it. I'm sure that there's probably things that I'm not going to end up using, but my family and friends were like very generous to get us a lot of things on our registry just to try to make life easier for us once he's here. And so we're gonna, you know, see what we end up using, see what we end up liking, but I'm just gonna share everything for now. Okay, so I'm going to try to categorize this in a way that makes sense. I might leave things out and have to do like miscellaneous items at the end, but we'll just start with one of the most obvious things you're gonna need, diapers and diapering. So. We did a diaper raffle at our shower, meaning we asked people to bring a pack of diapers and then if you did, you got entered into a chance to win a raffle and then you won a prize. So we were able to get um, quite a few diapers that way. I requested like non-toxic brands and the ones I put on my registry specifically were this brand diaper with a Y. Um, obviously you've never tried them, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. I would definitely recommend asking people bring a variety of sizes because they're going to go th grow through them very quickly. So I have, um, size extra small here and I have size three here and there's a lot more packages of diapers like around the house. Um, so... If you can do like a diaper game or raffle of some sort at your shower, I highly recommend it because it's very helpful. You know for sure you're going to need diapers. And then kind of more of a luxury item, some might say. For me, I felt like it was very necessary. A diaper pail, just something that will lock in the odor so that you're not taking out the trash every five seconds. And... I mean, it's just so convenient. I remember when I was a kid, we had this for my little brothers, and we used it all the time. So, I feel like you need it. So, I registered for this Ubi Steel Diaper Pail, and there are specific trash bags that you need for it. This package comes with 75, and apparently that will fit like 3,000 diapers. And then you're going to need diaper rash cream. There's a lot of different brands. Um, I requested more like natural versions of things. So this is the Honest Diaper Rash Cream. There's also one that I just saw on Instagram that I ordered that's a diaper rash cream with probiotics in it. And the idea is that it helps prevent rashes because it repairs the microbiome of the skin. So I will link everything that I'm talking about down below, but obviously you're going to want diaper, rash cream, and then um, somebody also got me this one, a &D Prevent. I think this is like a classic one that a lot of moms really like. And I think we're going to go with mostly using water, water wipes. Um, heard amazing things. They're 99.9% .9 just water. 
I don't want any added like fragrances, sulfates, parabens, dyes, just not necessary for a baby. So I'm not like 100% organic, non-toxic in my lifestyle, but I'm just like trying to do my best for the baby. So, and then don't come at me. I did ask for a wipe warmer. And I hear a lot of moms say that you're never going to use it or that you shouldn't use it. But my plan is to just use it at nighttime when he's little and we're changing him in the middle of the night. Because if I could get him to say, stay like half asleep and make him comfortable, like, why would I not do that? And so I'm not going to use it like all day long and not for like every single change. But I registered for one and somebody got it for us. And I don't think they're that expensive, so it's not like a huge loss if I don't end up using it all the time, but I do plan to use it at nighttime. Okay, so newborns basically poop, sleep, and eat, right? So I'm just going to go in that order. Um, so sleeping. One thing that I thought would, sounded like it was just going to give me the biggest peace of mind was the Owlet Dream Sock. Um, saw this at one of the baby stores and I was like, this is like the aura ring, but for a baby, um, it tracks the baby's sleeping patterns. It can also track what else? I'm pretty sure it tracks like their heart rate and their oxygen. Let me uh, double check that really quick. It tracks their heart rate and it traps and it tracks their sleep cycle. So, you know, like how good a quality of sleep that they're getting. I think it gives you like recommendations. Um, but yes, it also includes the average oxygen level, movement and wakings. So you have a lot more peace of mind knowing that the baby is comfortable. And if the levels change, for example, like oxygen changes or heartbeat rate changes or the baby wakes up or something, it will alert you. So. I feel like that was very important for my peace of mind. I'm excited that we got it. They also have a duo with a monitor and the sock. I didn't end up going with that baby monitor. The one I went with is the Optics Pro DXR-8 Pro um, it, by Infant Optics. And I read a lot of good reviews on this. I wanted something that was not connected to an app, not connected to Wi-Fi. So this one has an actual physical monitor, which is great for when people are watching your baby at home and you're not here, they don't have to download the app. It's also great because no one can hack into your signal and watch your baby or watch you, which sounds really paranoid, but the more pregnant I get, the more paranoid I get. Um, it has a really good quality camera. You can move the camera. I've heard people say in reviews on Amazon that the quality is as clear as the um, the na the Nanit. I think that's the other really popular baby monitor right now that everyone says the quality is like amazing. I've heard that the quality of the camera is just as good. Heard great things in person from other moms too. Um, I got it, I think I linked it from Amazon, but everything will be down below. Very excited about our monitor situation. And then just kind of nice thing to have is the hatch rest for babies. Um, you can select like bedtime routines or it can, it can have like a red light and um, white noise machine. It can have like a wake up routine where it slowly gets like lighter and plays sounds. You can use this for like years and years. There's a lot of different settings for them. I haven't even looked into exactly all the things that it does, but I know that a lot of moms said this is very useful, especially when they become like a toddler too. And then to sleep in, a couple of swaddles. So the love to dream, I heard good things about. They can sleep with their arms more up like this. I guess some babies prefer that. And then also the halo sleep sack, which the arms would sleep more down. So I have one of each and I can just kind of see like what he prefers if he sleeps better in one versus the other. Um, and then 
We obviously just got like regular swaddle blankets that I can <laughs> learn how to swaddle him up in. Um, a couple of ones off Amazon. Like there's people who has a lot of blankets, so I'm not gonna link all the blankets, but um, you're definitely gonna want some of those. This is kind of related to sleep, but pacifiers, soothing, the Wub and Ubs, a lot of pain. I don't understand the difference between pacifiers. I'm like thinking they're all the same, but everyone told me that Wub and Ub specifically was like the best because they don't get lost as easy with the giant stuffed animal attached to it. So, got one of those. Is there anything else for sleep? Oh yeah, the baby shusher. This literally just plays a sound that just goes shh. So everyone says bring this, like put it in the car seat or the stroller and just play it so they can sleep when you're out and about. I have like the hiccups. I think that's it for sleep specifically, but I'm going to go in to, what did I say? It was a uh, poop, sleep and eat. That's right. Okay. So for feeding, my goal is to breastfeed for six months. We'll see how that goes. Um, and in terms of breastfeeding pillows, everyone said my breast friend was super handy. So I uh, got one of those. I also have heard it's good to have like a boppy too, because the breast friend is good for you if you're literally breastfeeding, but a boppy is good for other people if they just want to give the baby a bottle or set the baby up for like support. So you can have, you can have both. I'll probably get both, but uh, we got the breast friend. And then I am planning on pumping and going back to work part time. So we are gonna need bottles, two different sizes to start. I got four ounce and nine ounce. I guess the four ounce is for when they're really little and it comes out a little bit slower, I think. Um, these are the anti-colic ones from Avent, Avent, and I remember my mom using these growing up. They're just familiar looking to me, so those are the ones I picked, but I've been hearing moms even today still recommending them. And then we also got the bigger ones that are uh, the 9 ounce for one month and above. And then I guess they recommend replacing the nipples every three months. And maybe they go missing. I don't know. I heard I would need extra nipples, and we have those too. And then, speaking of nipples, nipple cream, very important. I have two different kinds here Mother Love and this other, I don't know what this brand is called, but both organic. You want to make sure, obviously, anything you're putting in that area is going to be safe for the baby to ingest. And then some washable nursing pads. I'll probably get some disposable ones too, just for like on the go, just in case. Another thing I've heard is super useful is the haka. So basically while you're feeding on one side, I know that like your other breast can start to leak and it just like wastes breast milk. So you can put the haka on there and it will lightly like stick suction on there and catch all of the, the drips that leak out. So you can actually save that and use it. So they're not too expensive, I don't think. And some women love it and some say that they never used it or it wasn't useful, but I feel like better to have it and try it out. And then I do plan on transitioning him to formula. Um, you know, when I'm, whenever I'm done breastfeeding because my goal is just six months and I don't even know if I'll have an easy or hard time breastfeeding so we registered for the baby Brisa. it's actually downstairs it was too heavy for me to carry it up here um but I will put a picture on the screen I heard that the baby Brisa like saves lives especially for formula fed babies it's basically like a baby Keurig so you just turn it on and it warms the water and it dispenses and mixes it with the formula and it just drops it down into a bottle for you and it's ready to go. So very excited that we will have that. 
as an option as well and definitely use it you know when he's like a few months old or right away if things things don't go well for me we'll see a couple more things in the feeding department um this fast hook on chair is like a little high chair that you can bring to put on any table or any countertop i originally registered for it because we were living at an apartment that had like a big island with a counter and I was just planning on using that because I didn't want to like get a high chair and then I have to store the high chair. There was like no storage there. So I'm probably going to also still get a high chair, but it'll be really nice to have this, especially when we go out to restaurants and we can probably put this onto our kitchen table as well. And then um, the dining tray that attaches to it. So you can bring this to restaurants and have your own clean setup to put their food on or use it at home if you have um, just like an island that you want to attach to the counter and this could be like their full high chair. Okay, this next category is just like baby gear, getting around, transportation. So we haven't purchased it yet. I'm kind of waiting to see if it goes on sale at all for Black Friday. But I plan on getting the Nuna Triv car seat and the Nuna Pippa Light RX car seat with the Relax base. It's always very difficult for me to remember that. Um, basically, I chose the Triv. Well, I think I'm getting the Triv because I love all the features about it. It can transition through a lot of stages. It's the lightest stroller that they make. You can fold it with one hand. The wheels are not the best. I think I've explained this to another vlog. But the wheels are not the bigger wheels that can go on all terrain. But I literally plan on going like on sidewalks, grocery stores, very like city lifestyle. Um, so I didn't care if, I mean, I hear the wheels are still fine. They're just not like the bigger ones that come on the mix, which is very popular as well. But it's only like 18 pounds or something crazy, or like 20 pounds, the whole stroller. And then... Um, the car seat is also the, the lightest car seat that they make and it can be used without the base if you're traveling and just want to strap it in with like a seatbelt. Um, so that is why I'm going with those and I'll link those below as well. Okay, so baby carriers. Just strapping them to your body I hear is very convenient having your hands free. So I asked for the baby Bjorn, um... This is, I think, their newest one, Baby Carrier One Air. So I, I think it's their newest one. Um, you can use it through all different stages. I think you can use it from, like, newborn to, like, toddler, like, a long time. You can wear it on your front, facing in or facing out, and you can also wear it on your back. I forget, like, the features of things. Um... But yeah, basically we'll be able to use this for a very long time and I just got it in black so that Brian wouldn't mind wearing it either. But for when he's really, really little, and I, and I know you can use these later too, but I got the Solly Baby Wrap and I know a lot of moms are obsessed with this. This one's more of just like a fabric wrap one. Uh, you can see a picture there. Of how it works but you can use him from 8 to 25 pounds so I'll use this when he's you know just born for the first like couple months and then probably transition to the baby Bjorn all right bath time so I registered for two different bathtubs which sounds like a lot but they were both necessary in my mind so I did not register for this little flower um, you can only use them until they're six months old but it fits in the sink and I thought that'd be very useful because I might not want to be bending down into the bathtub, you know, newly postpartum and it sounds terrible right now. So I really wanted to have the flower. I've heard some moms say like that it didn't dry nicely or I don't know. I heard a few mixed things, but it says that this will not mold or mildew because it's made of a special kind of foam. And you can also throw it in the washing machine. So the cleanliness argument, I don't think is very valid because I think you can keep it clean. 
so it'll be nice to have this when he's really little. And then you don't have to get that though because if you get the Frida Baby Grow With Me tub, it fits all stages. So you can put a newborn in here because you have the ability to transition it to different depths. Um, so I think like all the way over here when they're really little, you can have them cradled just like at the top and then you can adjust that thing as they get bigger. So um, four different positions. Yeah, you can use it until they're like two years old from newborn. To test the temperature, I got this cute little rubber ducky that has a thermometer because I feel like I like everything really hot and so I don't want to burn the baby. And then some more Honest Company um, gentle foaming bubble bath in the lavender scent, I think. Truly calming. I think it's lavender. Anywho. And then you're going to need um, just a couple little uh, towels with the little with a little hood and some washcloths that I think I registered for some on Amazon and I'll link those down below too. Okay, a few more items that you don't wanna live without. Well, I guess it's not a necessity, but I've heard, very helpful. The dock tot So you can just put him in here and you don't have to worry about him rolling out and you can put it on the floor, you can put it on the couch, it's portable, you can take the cover off and wash it. I actually got an extra cover so we can always have one clean because I wanted white so that I could take a cute picture of him but I know that white is going to get very dirty so I also asked for a gray cover which somebody got for me so that's very nice. Another handy thing that we got that is downstairs is a swing and I'll put a picture of the swing on the screen here. But I picked this specific swing because it can swing both directions. It can swing side to side like this, or you can turn it and it will swing like front to back like this. And I've heard that some babies prefer one motion over the other. And that's why there's so much controversy over like some babies love, like the Mama Roo, for example. That's not the one I got, but some babies love that, but I think it only swings one direction and some babies don't like it. So it's like very different opinions on it. Um, so this way, the swing we got, we can swing it any which way, and hopefully he likes one of those ways. Also, the actual seat part comes off, and it can just be like an on-the-ground little rocker, and you can take that all around the house with you, too. And then, of course, we cannot forget the bassinet. Um, I am not going to drag it in here right now, but I'll put another picture up on the screen of me with the bassinet. Uh, we got the Baby Delight Beside Me bassinet, and I did a lot of debating about all of this because I heard about the snoo, and I heard that it was so great, and then I heard, no, you don't have to maybe get used to that, and then it's expensive, and then, I don't know. I have a friend that's getting it, and she's like, whatever gets the baby through the night, and I'm like, I hear ya on that one. But then so many people were like, don't waste your money. So I don't know, I did not go with that one. I decided to go with Baby Delight Beside Me because the arm can come down and you can actually like anchor the bassinet, like strap it to the bed and push it right up next to your bedside so that it can literally roll over and he's just like right there. Um, so I thought that was very convenient. You don't have to like pick up, you have to pick him up just a little bit to get over like the ledge, but it's like short, but then I can just like nurse him and then just like, Put back in there so that is the bassinet i decided to go with and i actually have a promo code for that one i will include down by the link and then also in terms of sleep a pack and play i heard this is really useful especially traveling going to grandparents house my mom got me a pack and play and very happy that we're gonna have one um too big for me to carry up here but i'm linking it down in the description it has like a bassinet function it has like a changing a uh, changing pad table area and then it has like a deeper version as well so it's very versatile and then this chair we can't forget this chair um i was very pleased with this chair when it wrapped let me show you so it is a 
It is a glider. It does swivel. And it reclines. Woo! I really like this chair. It's fairly like inexpensive compared to other similar chairs. I love the neutral color. So it was just perfect. Very excited about it. Oh, I'll show you a few a few outfits. We got so many outfits. And they're so cute. Um, I would recommend like hardly putting any outfits on your registry at all. So that way people are more inclined to get you actual like functional items that you need and people are going to get you clothes anyways. People love getting adding clothes to the gifts and I love all the clothes that we got. So my plan worked because I only put like literally like three or four onesies on the whole registry. But one of my favorite brands is Caden Lane and I got these very cute zip up onesies. I got a black one. I got this blue one. So the blue one is, yeah, zero to three. They're both zero to three. And I heard from a lot of moms to not get things with buttons. I had already bought some things with buttons when I found this out. So I, I completely stopped buying things with buttons because apparently it's really hard to button all the buttons when you have a squirming, crying baby. So zippers are going to be your best friend. The material on these is like so soft. It's bamboo. It feels so luxurious. I also got, I think this is going to be like his hello world like outfit. So this very cute little hat, a nightgown that ties at the bottom. And their nightgowns, they make them all, like, the, the smallest size is, like, zero to three months because it will fit a newborn as well since, like, the bottom is so, so big. And then I got a matching swaddle. And I love the material of this. It's, like, stretchy, but I can imagine that you could just, like, wrap them up, like, really snug. And I like that they have the whole matching set. Um, I will put, I have like a discount code for Caden Lane. I'll put that in the description as well. They make like such good quality baby clothes. I also put a few like Amazon ones. These just don't feel nearly as soft or as nice as the Caden Lane, but they're very like neutral and like easy. So I'm definitely still going to use them. They're, they're fine. They're totally fine. They're cute. They're... Decent quality. The Caden Lane ones are just like butter. Um, but I got a gray one. And then I got this more tan one. And then I'm a neutral girl. Everything I want is neutrals. So another little sleep sack that just ties at the bottom for nighttime. You want them to just like live in these nightgowns. It's so much easier to change them. And I remember that from my little brothers when I was little. Like it was so convenient. Well, thank you for watching my baby shower gift haul and slash registry haul. Um, everything will be down below. I think I said that a hundred times. I'm sure there's things I'm forgetting. And I'm sure there's things I'll probably want to even end up using. But that is all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more lifestyle vlogs, baby updates. That's all for now. Till next time.